I will be showing you how to do a bloom technique. Hey there, it's Susan King. Art by Susan King is my channel. And I do um, mostly acrylic pores. I love doing blooms and modified blooms. That's one, two of my favorite things now. So I'll be doing a bloom technique on a heart. Um, it's not a canvas. It's just a um, canvas board, I guess. Not a board, actually. I'll show you. It's just one of these boards here. It's not wood. I'm not sure what material it's made out of. That's what I'm going to be pouring on today. And I'm going to be using um, magentas and gold. Um, lots of rich, rich colors today. It's going to be kind of dark. I'm going to use a black cell activator. And I'm going to be using my cell activator that I've created. The Zenser uh, Gesso and paint one and it works pretty good so I will uh, begin these are the colors that I'm going to be using today it's rust-oleum metallic accents gold mine liquitex basics uh, Kodakodon magenta deco art extreme sheen pink tourmaline Windsor and and these two here are the colors I used in the in the puddle as well and mixed with the pouring medium Windsor and Newton titanium white and Amsterdam lamp black the paint I used in my cell activator is Amsterdam oxide black mixed with black gesso it's Dollar Rowney and Zinser Extender. My recipe for the, this is in my description. All right, my first color will be um, I'm going to be putting black on just with pouring medium, mixed with pouring medium. And I hope I got all the air bubbles out. Putting quite a bit on here because I want the background to be mostly black and I think I might have put too much white on. So good. I think maybe one. So then now, pink tourmaline by Deco Art. This is metallic, a metallic paint. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to add some just regular white mixed with pouring medium. Then um, magenta. This is Quadacquadon magenta. I believe it's Liquitex Basics.
Okay, so that's quite a bit of magenta. Um, then gold. This is um, rust -oleum gold. Then I'm going to add a little bit more of the Quadacridon magenta. It's, this one's awfully thick. It's thickened up quite a bit. That's it. Now the cell activator. I hope I have enough breath to blow this. I wonder if I should... I wonder if I should... Um, use my hair dryer. It's looking pretty cool. Not as much cells that I as I would have liked, but still looks pretty nice. I'm just gonna blow a little bit so I can move some of the black over. a little bit more. I'm not going to do any more because then I'll ruin it. Okay. I already have way too much paint on here. <laughs> way too much. I think I'm going to have to move it over here so that it doesn't get all over me. Maybe. Maybe I'll have to tilt it. I don't know. Alright, so it looks like I'm going to have to remove some paint already while I wait for the center to come back. did it with the paint. Not moving very good at the moment.
Woohoo! Beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm just going to scrape some more off before I get it everywhere. heart before so I wasn't quite sure how much paint to put on. I should have realized though it's a little bit much. Okay, I have to get my next piece ready. <clears throat> spin very hard. I'm just going to spin lightly. I don't think I need to spin it any more than this. It's beautiful. Just maybe try and tilt it this way a little bit. Beautiful. Awesome. I really like it. All right, I'll bring you down for a close up. I love it. I really love it. This is with my um, gesso, zinser, and what the heck's going on with the color here? And uh, Amsterdam uh, black paint oxide. It's not Aus Australian Floetron. It didn't give me cells all the way through, but it's still nice. I like it. I'll let it dry and I'll show you at the end. Hey there, I am back with the dried results. Everything is nice and dry, nice and smooth. A little bit glossy. Um, it's not that glossy, but once it's varnished, it should, uh, it should be a lot better. So, um, yeah, I'll bring you in for a close-up. A lot of nice cells and a lot of lacing going on in the middle, especially. I did get my black background look. All right. So when I was, um, before I did this, I practiced on a tile because I was a little bit nervous about doing it on a heart. So I practiced on this tile. And this tile looked pretty good, except for this area right here. I was using some old white, and it didn't react very well with the uh, paint. So I changed and added some new, um, new white and new black to this one, and it worked out a lot better. But this one kind of looks cool too. So yeah, there you go. A lovely heart. Hope you enjoyed this video 
If you want to see more of my videos, they should be popping up at the screen right now, on the screen right now. <laughs> so um, take care, have a great day, and uh, see you in my next video. Bye for now.